Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name's Andrew. Welcome, take a seat and come and join us. So last week on Instagram, I received a message saying, hi Andrew, I am new to running. Have you got any stretches for complete beginners? So because I've been asked this quite a few times in the last coming months, I thought I would be better making a video on it. So all the stretches in this video are quick, easy, perfect to do after a run. I will take you about five minutes. All you need for these stretches are yourself and maybe a resistance band depending on your level. So let's get straight into the stretching guys. So I just want to mention that all the stretches in this video I do recommend doing them at least once each side and holding on for 30 seconds each. The first stretch we are going to do is a hamstring stretch. It is very important to keep your back as straight as possible in this stretch. So there is two variations of this stretch one's with the chair and one's on the floor. So what we need to do is make sure the knee and hip is in line. We're going to bring one leg forward, engaging the quad to keep the knee straight as possible. We are going to lean forwards, walk the hands as far forwards as we can go, keeping that back flat. And we are going to just breathe through the stretch, we should really feel this stretch in the hamstring here. After we have held this for a couple of seconds, we are going to see if we can walk the hands forwards and we are really going to concentrate on bringing the belly button to the quad, the muscle at the top of the leg. Throughout this, we want to look forwards and hold. So the alternative stretch is using the chair. We are going to come up, knees below the hips, keep the legs straight, bring it on top of the chair, walk the hands forwards, keep facing forwards throughout the stretch, engaging the quad muscle, keeping the legs straight, remembering to breathe, and then walk the hands forwards as you get more comfortable in the stretch. So I will try both these stretches. I do personally find using the chair gets the stretch deeper and it does make it a lot easier to get it in the hamstring area for me. Everyone's different, so do what feels better for you. So the next stretch we are doing is going to be a lunge. We are going to make sure it's in the front leg as well as the back hip flexor. So how we do this is get into the lunge position. So we are going to put the foot down, making sure that the knee is above it. From here, take your hands to the floor, flex the back foot and pull that kneecap back as far as it will go. From here, we are going to come up, making sure we are pushing the hips into the floor. And if you can't get any lower, now we can start thinking about pushing the quad into the floor. So when in this position, you want to think about keeping your spine neutral, pushing the hips to the floor. You can think about a string coming from your head, pulling it to the ceiling if you like. So when you feel comfortable in this position, you can start wiggling side to side. So what we are going to do is take both hands and place them next to our front foot. Wiggling our hips side to side, stretching through the hamstring, but also that back hip flexor. So if you feel like this is too easy for you, you can place both hands at either side of the front foot. Wiggling up and down. This is just a bit more intense and you need a bit more mobility to get into the right position. So the next stretch we are going to do is a quad stretch. I find this is really important for runners as the quads can take a lot of beating and can get really, really tight. So we are going to go in the same lunge position and flex that back foot, making sure that back leg is extended as much as possible. So we are going to bring one foot forward, placing the knee over the foot, 
place both hands on the floor, flexing the back foot, taking it back, extending fully through the hip. We are going to take the opposite hand to the back leg and reach towards the foot, grabbing it. From here, push the hips towards the floor, pull the foot towards the bum. From here, you should feel a really intense stretch in the quad. So hold this for around about 30 seconds and then slowly bring the foot towards the floor. So if you struggle grabbing the foot, we can use a resistance band or a belt to wrap around the foot to give you something to grab hold of. So just wrap the resistance band around the leg, just below the joint or just above the joint. So never on the joint as we really want to protect it. So we come into the same position, extending the back hip. From here, we're going to take the offset hand to the back leg, pull it up, grab hold of the band, and pull. So using that band will help you if your quads are just really tight. After doing it a couple of times, you might be able to grab your ankle, or it could take a couple of months, but you will improve on flexibility, so just keep going. So the next stretch we are going to do is a frog stretch. I do prefer doing this stretch without a mat, as I do feel like it gives me more of a slide. To do this stretch, we are going to go on all fours, getting the legs as wide as possible, keeping the knees in line with the hips and the knees in line with the feet. We are going to rock back and forth, as comfortable as possible as we can, trying to get the most out of our mobility. Throughout this stretch, you really do want to think about keeping all your weight through your hips and not into your hands. After you do this for a while, you will be able to feel your legs slide open slightly, so just let that happen. So that stretch is always a really good stretch. It doesn't matter what level you're at, you will always feel a really good opening throughout the hip. So the other variation of this stretch is to do it one-legged. So to do this, we are going to go on all fours, keeping the hips in line with the knees and the knees in line with the feet, and then straight one leg out so your foot is in line with your hip and just rock back and forth. So this can really help if your hips are uneven or if your hips are really tight, it can help to just loosen them off that bit faster. So the next muscle we're going to stretch out is our calves. It is a muscle in our lower leg. We are going to flex the feet, sit up straight with a neutral spine, get our resistance band, hook it over the tops of the feet, sit up straight, and you should be able to feel that stretch all the way through our calves. So if it is hard for you to sit up straight, what it can be for a lot of people, you can take a few core block, place it under the bone. So sitting on a block can just take some tension out the hamstrings, making it easier to stretch out the calves. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Flex the feet, get your band, hook it over the feet, sit up straight, and just breathe throughout the stretch. I hope these stretches have helped some of you guys and I hope you've learned something from the video. If you have any other questions, please comment them down below or feel free to message me on Instagram. If you did enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and come and join the family.